Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Um, and I have for you today a... Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Um, hope you're enjoying 2017 so far. Um, I have for you a video today. We're going to go through five pentatonic sequences, um, generally legato sequences, that I use. Uh, and they're actually taken from my 50 Essential Pentatonic Patterns uh, pack from my website. So I'll make sure I leave a link somewhere on the screen or in the description box below so you can check them out. Um, Okay, so let's get cracking with the first example. Uh, all of these examples use the extended pentatonic, so rather than the usual you know, box position that everybody knows, uh, we're going to be doing this extended position, which incorporates the first position and the second position all in one shape. So it's a little bit stretchy, but nothing too, too difficult. Um, so, Let's get cracking with example number one. It's over a B Dorian vamp, this. So, once we get one string, pretty much the majority of the, the sequence will follow uh, naturally. So, the first pattern is... Okay, and what I do is uh, pick the first note and hammer on and pull off everything else. Um, so, I actually use the middle finger um, hybrid because I just like the way that it feels and the way that it sounds. So, I'm going to go middle finger, hammer on to 12, pull off again to 7, hammer on to 10 with the third finger. Okay, then we continue the pattern through uh, B minor pentatonic. Really cool sounding shapes, especially when you build the speed on it, but the emphasis is not on speed here, it's more to do with clarity, control, um, and make sure your playing is as clean as possible uh, with these as well. So you're going to have to use a quality muting technique. So that's our first shape. Okay, for the second pattern, we're just going to uh, change it round. Instead of going, we're going to go, okay, very easy. So, same again, following the pentatonic framework of B minor pentatonic, first two shapes, so that's okay. So, those are our first two. Um, the third one is basically using the first shape. Instead of going to the adjacent string, we're going to skip a string and go to the fourth string, okay? Okay, easy enough. Then we're going to go down to the fifth string, which we missed out. Same thing, then the third. You see where this is going. Okay, so it's... The way that I usually pick this is I'll go down with a pick on the lower string and then a hybrid with a middle finger on the upper string. Okay, so that's our third pattern. We're flying through these. Um, the fourth one, uh, we're going to continue with a string skipping uh, theme here and we're going to play this pattern. So we're playing on the sixth strings and uh, sixth and fourth strings. And what we're going to do is ascend through the shape on the sixth string. Okay. Then we're going to play fret seven of the D with the middle finger. Then back down on the E string. Then we're, this time we're going to play the D string twelfth fret. So we get this. Okay, pretty cool sound there. So we're just going to ascend through our um, extended pentatonic position. Let's move up to the adjacent string. Again, following the framework of the pentatonic. 
be careful of this one, there's a habit of doing 10 here. And then, so that's. Okay, so that's um, sequence number four, I believe. So we're on to our final sequence already. Um, so the final sequence is. Um, okay, uh, I think that's what it is. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I keep forgetting these things as I do them. So we're just going to. Here, this is a little bit more awkward because we're going to incorporate the middle and ring fingers. Um, you can play with a pick, of course, but this is, I'm showing you how I do it. Um, so we're going to play first three strings of the bottom, uh, sorry, first three notes of the, the, on the E string. Okay, then we're going to play fret nine of the, the A with the middle finger of the right hand. Then with the ring finger of the right hand, we're going to play seven of the D and then hammer on to 12 of the D. So we get... Okay. Okay, and simply we're just going to, as we did before, just move through our sets of strings. Okay, do that nice and slowly again. Okay. Okay, so that's all five shapes. As I said before, um, these incorporate uh, both positions of the pentatonic scale. If you're not used to it, you're just going to have to work hard at making sure that you're comfortable with extending that left hand. Obviously, if you're in pain, make sure you give yourself a rest. You don't. You don't want to put yourself in pain with these kind of things, but you know, uh, when I first did these, it was a bit of a challenge at first, but your left hand will learn to adapt the more you practice these. Uh, so experiment with left hand position. Uh, and again, keep these as clean as possible. Make sure the, the time feel is bang on. Uh, so concentrate on making sure your timing is, is as strict as possible. Uh, and uh, you should be nailing it in no time. So uh, if you want, as I said before at the start, if you want more of these kind of patterns, you'll find lots of them. I've got uh, a pack of two. Um, so there's 50 pentatonic exercises on my website. So uh, check those out. Hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Take it easy, guys.